now. Um, so, if you were, or if you watched the previous video, you saw my struggles with the wooden kebabs. What I did um, was buy some of these plastic kebabs. They're not huge, um, but it'll work for the purpose of the lunch, of this lunch, because I, because his box is really small. Um, the little compartments is really small. And then, since I've last talked to you, I ended up getting a Bento box. Um, I actually just found out that they have, like, different sizes for different ages and um, that come with, like, different compartments so that you have bigger food compartments. So, I am going to be looking for the bigger compartments for him. Okay, so today we are doing breakfast breakfast um kebabs and i have Peyton here with me again say hi Peyton. and we are going to start with the kebab part so um i have some pancakes here so i have um a pancake here and i was going to try to cut the pancakes with a stencil but it i it we tried it and it didn't work so i am going to cut it into squares First, I'm going to cut the edges off because Peyton doesn't like crispy edges. Um, so I'm gonna get those out the way. And then Pierre, he's going to eat those later. And to make it like a, a square, make it easier to work with. So I'm gonna get those out the way and I have two. I'm gonna cut both pancakes. Just cutting the edges off. So my week last week was really busy. Aiden ended up getting his molars taken out. He had to have two teeth extracted um, because his new teeth were growing in on top of his old teeth and it was causing him to have an infection, okay? So here are my pancake squares and I'm just going to cut them into smaller squares just so that they'll fit on the kebab. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's like a trapezoid. Okay. Put that on. A trapezoid. Yeah. So after um, he had his teeth taken out, he can only he could only eat soup and soft things. So he stayed home one day, um, just so we can monitor him and make sure he didn't have a reaction to the anesthesia. And then he had soup that entire day, um, and. He really didn't, he really wasn't as active as he usually is. Um, so we didn't, we didn't have lunches. We just had soup. Um, so the pancake brand that I use is the Kodiak Cakes. Um, I forgot who recommended these um, to me, but these are really delicious. The only thing that I add to mine is I add a little vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg, which makes them really, really good. Um, and then we put fruit in it sometimes, but since it was supposed, it's going on a kebab, um, I'm not going to put fruit in it or I didn't put fruit in it. Okay. And then we have the sausage and we are working with the chicken and maple sausage by Applegate. These come from Target. They're actually really good too and, um, heart healthy. So I'm cutting the sausages into little squares for his um, lunch and to put on the kebabs. Peyton, while I'm doing that, would you, do you want to pick some kebabs? So our sausages are all different shapes and, shapes and sizes, which is okay because they're going, like I said, go on the kebab and he's just going to eat it. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to give my cutting board a wipe and then I'm also going to put fruit on the kebab. So one kebab will be sausages and um, pancakes and one will be fruit and pancakes. Um, I'm going to cut some strawberries and blueberries to put on his kebabs. Well, you know what? I'm actually gonna just do blueberries. So I'm going to put some blueberries. Um, so I'm gonna put some blueberries on with the pancakes. I have some blueberries here and I'm going to put the blueberries on with the pancakes. Um, and we're just going to start assembling the kebabs. Excuse me, Peter. Which ones did you want? Which kebab did you want? Okay. So 
Here is what the kebabs look like. And I'm going to start with the fruit one. So I'm gonna put pancake. I'm gonna put the pancake. Then I'm going to put the blueberry. And then I'm going to put the pancake. And then a blueberry. And then another pancake. Payton likes the small um, blueberries because they're a lot tart, tart, uh, more tart than the bigger ones. But unfortunately, when I went to Aldi, um, they didn't have any of the smaller blueberries. And so I had to get the bigger ones. So here's one, it's just blueberries and pancakes. And I am going to actually put it in the box, get it ready to go. So that's one. And then the next one is going to be sausage. So it's going to be pancake, sausage, pancake, sausage. Hopefully you can see us. Pancake. I guess I could have cut the pancakes in smaller squares, um, but this will work too. Sausage. Okay, and then that one is going to go in. And then I think I'm going to do one more. You want another fruit one or you want another sausage? Uh, sausage. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the sausages into smaller squares so that I can have enough. And then I'm also going to trim down the pancakes, make it look a little bit more pretty. Okay, so same thing as before. We have sausage, pancake, sausage, pancake, sausage, pancake. That's like a rhyme, right? Sausage and pancake, sausage and pancake. Okay, and that one is cute too. And then we are going to put that in his box. So now he has three, which I think is enough for him because I'm gonna put other things in it. And the next thing I'm going to put in the box is I am going to put some syrup in there. Um, and this syrup is a Market Pantry original syrup. This one comes from Target. Um, just so it'll make it easier for him to dip it and bring it closer so you can see it just so it's easier for him to dip it in okay so that's the syrup and these are supposed to be insulated so that um liquid doesn't spill out i hope it works um and then in uh, this area i am going to put some kiwi and strawberry no kiwi and oranges and so i just cut the oranges into halves to make them easier and then I also already cut, let me see it up a little bit. I also already cut the kiwi, so I'm just gonna layer it with um, uh, oranges and kiwi, oranges and kiwi. Um, and you know what time it is? It is time for Peyton's Why did the lady love to drink hot chocolate? Why did the lady love to drink hot chocolate? I don't know why. Because she was a coconut. <laughs> that one was actually actually funny. I have to, you got a real life laugh out of me. Okay. And for his fruit, I'm going to put the little fruit fork there. And then here, lunch, I am going to put broccoli. I had some broccoli in the refrigerator that I really needed to get rid of. So this works perfectly oh no i got broccoli in your syrup okay i think i got it out oh i forgot to tell you so yesterday if you watched the video um you saw that i had a little snafu with my nails but i fixed them so they're all good right um and somebody re um told me to get like the insta dry and put it on and it makes your nails dry a lot quicker and it was really, really helpful. I appreciate that suggestion. And so they dry in like a minute or two and there's still broccoli in your syrup. Okay, I think I got it this time. And then I'm going to add some ranch um, to his little ranch container for the broccoli. 
Um, and then I'm gonna have his ranch on the side. In this pocket, I'm giving him a really special treat. Um, he, I'll show you in a few seconds. I'm excited about it. He's excited about it. Um, so he actually picked green goddess dressing, not ranch, which is fine. So he put some green goddess dressing in there and that's going to be on the side. And then what I'm going to put in this is his Gogurt. So yesterday when I was at Target, I saw these Gogurts. I think they might be newer, but it is a um, Hershey's Cookies and Cream flavored Gogurt, which he actually really likes. What do you think about them, Peyton? Delicious. Yeah, I think that if I let him, he would eat them all in one day. But I'm going to put it here just to save space in his lunchbox and to make it look pretty with some sprinkles because Peyton, how do you feel about the sprinkles? They're good. Yeah, one day he said that the sprinkles were the best part of his lunch. Okay, so I am going to, I think use red and yellow. Um, Just because red will pop a little bit more. And believe it or not, I, I actually, at these sprinkles from Audi. So here's the red. Last time Oops. Really I am bad with getting these things in the the boxes. I'm like the worst. So you have sprinkly bar, um, broccoli too. It's in there. I'll just cover it up. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Okay, and then some yellow. Just a little bit. And then the very last thing, <laughs> sprinkles, don't want to cooperate. So the very last thing that I'm going to give him, or two things, is I am also going to give him a juice box. They, both of them, like the organic Simply Nature juice boxes from Audi. So I'm going to add that. And then last, I am going to add this organic Simply Nature chocolate chip granola bar. Um, he can eat it for a snack or he can eat it with his lunch. He likes those so far. Last week, we had a chocolate chip and coconut cherry, which it was literally gone in a couple of days, the entire box. Um, so this is pretty much his lunch for tomorrow. He has um, bre breakfast kebabs. He has yogurt with some sprinkles, um, some oranges and kiwi, some broccoli, some syrup, chocolate chip granola bar, apple juice, and ranch. And I will see you tomorrow. Peyton will tell you how he liked it. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.